One of the places we were at was, was Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I was up in the press box in Myrtle Beach, and I had a scout who was wearing this Panama hat, and he was this old-timey scout, and he comes up to me and he goes, what do you got? You got polio? I wanted to say, sir, we have eradicated that one. <laughs> Former Chicago White Sox announcer Jason Benetti is an open book. I'm a guy who walks a bit different and whose eyes go in totally different directions of the world. He shares some everyday moments about CP in a series of cartoons for the Cerebral Palsy Foundation called Awkward Moments. He's a lifelong Chicagoan, grew up on Chicago sports, and fans loved it until. Various places, including ESPN, most notably for the Chicago White Sox since 2016, now going to the Detroit Tigers. This took place, it was a huge move, and now we may know why he departed. On your screen is Brooks Boyer, the Sox's senior VP and chief revenue and marketing officer. I like joy because, you know, when you, when you grow up and you're in hospitals a bunch and things like that, I think that kind of sticks with you even if I don't want it to. So I don't like bringing sad into your house, but that's the lay of the land sometimes with sports. Boyer has been with the Chicago White Sox since 2004. He is also a board member with Silver Chalice. As a disclaimer, before we continue with this piece, I used to work under the Silver Chalice umbrella with another company. Just getting that out of the way. Now to the story. Speaking with sports media reporter Richard Deitch, Benetti said, I had somebody say to me when I asked for more respect and basically demanded more respect just in the way I was being treated. They said, respect according to normal human beings or respect according to Jason Benetti. That is one of those things that I say that's disqualifying and will be for a long time. I'll have a relationship, but I don't want to do that long term. Those sources said the somebody was Boyer. Let's take this all in for a moment, shall we? I want people to think about it, to get past the very first trait that they see. The idea being, you just want to change people's minds if you can. You want to let them know that what they're seeing might be second or third level. There might be another thought process that goes along with it. Benetti, born with cerebral palsy, has been doubted. He has been reminded of his disability. One, when taking in the story of perseverance and resilience, would think those feelings, especially from a superior, were long gone. For those in the Sox organization, apparently not so much. When asked for comment, Boyer said Jason and I had a friendly and positive conversation last week when he called to say goodbye, and I wish him nothing but the best. Benetti added, Brooks and I had a great convo last week. I deeply appreciate what he said to me over the course of that discussion and fully believe we've moved beyond anything in the past. What this speaks volumes to, though, is how the Chicago White Sox, located on the south side of Chicago, viewed as the little brother when it comes to Chicago baseball, runs their organization from the top down. Club CEO Jerry Reinsdorf has made it clear, according to Brian O'Neill, there are company men, then there's everyone else. Unless you are one of those yes men, you are not doing things the White Sox way. Those who have curdled their souls into pure lick spittery have internalized this message. And so when Benetti asks for more respect, the White Sox way is to ask, who the bleep do you think you are? Were the Chicago White Sox, the relationship would take its toll. That, according to a producer that worked directly with Jason Benetti on game broadcast for NBC Sports Chicago. Chris Withers would say, I don't know that Jason was as happy as he possibly could have been the last year or so. So the fact that he is happy now and going to be in a place that is going to just love what he brings to a broadcast, that's most important. I, I can't really explain it to you, but it's for that moment, you feel like you might be that person actually. And like people see you like that, even for a brief instant when I know I've had success, like that constant rat-a-tat on your door of like, hey, you might not be good enough. If somebody's whispering in your ear, you might not be good enough. 
Every day, whether it's you telling yourself that or somebody telling yourself that, it's destructive. After hearing all this, one does not have to ponder to a further extent on why Jason Benetti would not only accept this role with the Detroit Tigers, but also say this in his opening presser when he met the media. I believe it was over Zoom. Take a look. You can see, right? You can see the passion and you can see the care. And this is from a distance, right? And so I don't, I don't want to make a generalization. But part of my life has been, I am somebody who does not walk like the average human being. I have an eye that drips. I have cerebral palsy. Like that is part of me, right? And and I quite often get reactions that are not completely representative of who I am as a full person, right? I am I'm physically different, but mentally I can hold a conversation. And so I do think I get, I guess you would say underestimated sometimes and not to say it with a chip on my shoulder, but that's just the way life works. Like sometimes people think I can't do stuff. And from a distance, again, gross generalization alarm going off, but from a distance, I think that's how Detroit gets treated. I think quite often Detroit is not known for its passionate fans or what it's done for the music industry. I think people reduce Detroit to a couple of statistics. And I don't like seeing people and a whole place get reduced to anything. And I know how much people care. And I know like how much people here want to just matter and be seen for what they are and not some overgeneralization. So to me, as I've thought about this, like that is where we link up. And that is why, you know, they'll make the decision on me. Like I can't say we're going to be the best of friends right away because that's super presumptuous of me. But that's where I think Detroit and I really get along. I am a fan of Jason Benetti. I will always be a fan of Jason Benetti. And I have said this before. I'll double, triple, quadruple down on it. He is the embodiment of being doubted. He is someone who has shown you there is more than what meets the eye. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that as well. As we've gone through the trials and tribulations of life, Jason Benetti is the embodiment of believing in yourself and perseverance. The Detroit Tigers are getting a gem. And for the Chicago White Sox, it is once again running into themselves over and over again when they simply do not have to. They do not put the correct people in the positions in order to have this team succeed. Many Sox fans know I'm preaching to the choir here. Yet for those outside of baseball, yet for those outside of sports, take a look at this franchise who has not won a World Series since the mid-2000s. And this is a direct representation, rather a microcosm of the mismanagement of what should be one of the best franchises in all of Major League Baseball.